Hello, this is Pharaoh Vincent with Nation 473. Today, I want to introduce you to a, a method of time attacks that I have theorized, I want to practice, and I think is a good combination of several different methods that we've already started to learn in, in some of my other videos on this channel, specifically around the basics of time attack. Part of the reason for this, I want to go back to the basics. I want to go back to old school. And my issue with time attacks has always been, it takes like 10 minutes to set that up every single time you want to do any attack. Like when you get above a certain number of players, it starts to become untenable, right? Like after 20 to 25 players, I mean, you're waiting for two, three minutes for everyone to type in their times, but you're also waiting to figure out when those times should be. So, <laughs> I may have given up some of the ghost out of habit, but I'm going to show you how this works, and I'm actually going to use a situation of somebody burning our flags to at least talk about one method. So let's start with the basics. The skills you're going to need to perfect is something that I have heard referred to as the car method, the red arrow method, or the fleet method of time attacks. And it has to do with clicking on a fleet. When you click on a fleet like this, and again, the fleet that's in motion, the little car, right? You click on that. You can hit the green arrow to return to its original location or the red arrow to go to where it is going. And so that's why some people call this the red arrow is because on an attack, what you can do is you press the red arrow and it'll jump to the city. It'll automatically pull up your ring. So you can hit attack, you can hit your preset, and you can hit set out. The big thing with doing this kind of a method, right, is that it's going to allow you to just simply keep yourself on the map. And so this is the red arrow method. I want to now take those skills and expand it. To make sure though, that your red arrow is absolutely perfect. Cause it like, if you're not careful, and especially if you're early on, you're starting to click and you keep getting a city, right? Cause the fleet's in between the city and this, that has to do with a setting, right? The fact that I'm not clicking on a city right now is a setting in the game. And then we can see where these are going, right? So, again, <laughs> this is a cool thing about Red Arrow, right? You wanna see where someone's going, you just click the fleet, you click the go, bam, you're right there. Hey, where was it? Click the fleet, click the green, bam, it was right there. You can start to see these things very quickly. It'll let you move around very fast. This is perfect for time defense, this is perfect for time attacks. I do recommend it because it is one of the easiest methods once you get it down. It doesn't require like understanding, you know, subtraction and having to do both subtraction and addition uh, for doing an ATA or advanced time attack. And you don't have to spend a bunch of, well, if you're doing it the traditional way, you'll still type in chat. Basically it's everything the same as a traditional time attack, except you can just click on the, the car right? The, the fleet itself. Um, so setting, right? I talked about that. You go under my info, you can then go under settings and other settings. You are looking for this one right here, which is set priority. You want to make sure that this is selected because if this is unselected, meaning it's over here, it will prioritize cities. If this is selected, it will now prioritize armies or fleets that are moving. Uh, this is crucial because this lets you do this method very easily. Literally the only time that this gets tricky is if you are in a global conquest tower. And the reason this gets tricky for global conquest towers is technically they're classified the same as cities and so that can sometimes throw you off. That's when you need to understand the red and green arrows though, because if you 
do this method, even in Global Conquest, all I like to do is just hit the red arrow. It'll target the tower for me, and then I can reinforce it, or attack it, or whatever the heck is going on. Right, speed in, do all the things. So, that is what to know. So, let's, without further ado, understand now the actual method that I'm recommending. So, in a traditional time attack, what people will do is they're going to very commonly find a target. Don't know why I'm scrolling, I have one listed. <laughs> They're going to find a target. I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> find a target. Still clicking the wrong one. That one. There you go. So you find a target. You go, okay. Hey, look, there's a dead city that actually had some troops left in it, and it's a C-14. Go figure. That's, I guess, rare. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and, and play around with this city, right? So at this point, the way that I'd like to hypothesize a faster way of doing this. Instead of going here, right, so we've linked the, the city, so instead of going here, linking the city, and then you post your time, right, you post your, what was mine, 2 or 355, right, oh wait, always click your fleet, but yeah, 355, so instead of going in here and typing in 355, I can just go in here and type that, and then, as the leader of this particular attack, find the city that is the furthest away from the target. In this case, I'm having Champ join me. And so, what will end up happening is you could then link the city that is helping you. By the way, Champ's fleet speed's a little faster, so this is going to show a little wonky, but we're just, we're, we're chilling with it. So you link the city in question. They can then hit the G5. And then they'll set out their fleet. You can then target their fleet. When your time comes up, which mine's already passed because champ is faster than me, you hit the red arrow, you hit the attack, you hit your preset, you hit set out. The faster you learn how to do this, the faster you can get that down to. Uh, generally, when I do this method, because um, I do it fairly frequently in events, um, what you'll generally find is there's about a two second delay um, in all of the, the screen flipping because you do have this extra click here that you don't normally have to deal with when you're doing a battle uh, alliance battle TA, right? When you're doing a TA out of this screen and you're clicking the send fleet, I mean, it doesn't have the same amount of clicks. Um, it seems, or at least maybe that's just me being weird. I don't know. Um, but you get the idea. So now at this point, these two cities are currently going after the target. Um, yeah, my times are off because again, champ's lead speed's higher than mine and he's sitting right next to me. This is a highlighted con of this, but even with that, okay, let's say I wasn't demonstrating this. I took two seconds after champ's time, uh, which I believe was like 3.45, right? Just shortly after mine, or shortly before mine. I'd still be within 10 seconds of him, right? It took me that long to describe this in a video. So even then, like I'm within 10 seconds, which is a long time, but it's not terrible. Um, I implore everyone to really spend a little bit of time kind of practicing something like this. Um, you could go with an ATA, you can go with a bunch of other things, but I like this kind of a method because I don't have to sit there and wait for people to post their times. And that's the big thing that, that I'm running into is I want to be able to do time attacks, but I want to be able to do them quickly. So in Global Conquest tonight, my plan, which my team is nowhere near ready for, <laughs> is to start doing this and see how fast they pick up. Uh, because I haven't had a chance to really show them this video. I'm making this video and I'm actually releasing it super fast just so that we can start practicing this. Uh, because I think that this might be a good thing to practice, a good thing to get good at, right? 
And as we get better, and as I get more and more knowledgeable, I may not always select the farthest city away. I may select the city that I think is going to have the longest time frame because I know, you know, how fast people travel or, or whatever the case may be. Um, so that is, in essence, what the plan is, right? This is what we're doing. We are doing our best to arrive at the same time, but without any of the complications of taking five to ten minutes in between attacks. Um, I think this will be good. So stay tuned to the channel, um, because we'll certainly be trying this out in some events here and there. I'll do my best to record some of them um, just to see if we can't get some footage right? Uh, see if we can't get some, uh, maybe some music or backdrop or whatever, because it, it'll be easier for me to focus on just playing the game and then uploading a video later. You know, similar to my battle report videos, which I didn't do for this void just because I didn't have time. Um, but I think that might work. So anyways, um, I'll, I'll cut this off here. Um, if you are a member of um, you know, my alliance, UBF, I highly recommend that you ask any questions that you may have about this, um, because we are going to be doing this pretty exclusively going forward. Um, or at least I'm going to do it through this week, and we're going to see how well it performs. I'm certainly going to be practicing it, and if it just doesn't seem like it's viable, we'll, we'll stop, but I want to try it. I think this is a good idea, and I recommend you guys give this a shot. As always, let me know down in the comments for everyone, you know, what you think of it, what you think of the idea of a faster time attack, right? Like being able to just click two buttons and everyone just sets out, right? Just boom, boom, boom. Just go. The idea is just go. Because I think if we can get a just go kind of setup, everyone's going to be a lot happier. It's going to be a lot faster. And we're not going to be spending all this time thinking. We're just going to be attacking. And yeah, time attacks might feel antiquated to most players. Speed attacks might be the way. But that costs money. <laughs> I don't really want to spend it anymore. I don't want to spend it at all. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to keep spending speeds for cities that aren't, you know, needing it. I just don't want to do it. So, anyways. Uh, that is where we will uh, call the video on this one. So again, as always, I appreciate your guys' time. Um, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you on the next one.